Okay, people, welcome back to another, uh, well, I can't call this Mel Booty. Yes, there's some Mel in here, but there's also some stuff I picked up, some 3D printed stuff, some extras. Essentially, we're going to ramble about a lot of random Star Wars stuff I've picked up over the past six months or so, if not longer. It's just some oddball stuff. Well, not oddball. It's all cool stuff because it's all Star Wars. It has been sitting on the shelf or sitting in boxes. There's some Mel I haven't even opened up. I'm going to do that on here. We're going to experience together some things I forgot I even got. Let's just see what's going on the shelf this weekend. First up though, you may have seen me review this. For people that don't care for the model kits or don't watch the model kit reviews, this is the Bandai Star Wars R4i9 model kit. It's a cool little addition to the Astromex on my shelf. I, it's a different one. It's not one we're ever going to get in the Black Series or any import companies. But if you're into different R2 units or different Astromex on the shelf, you can also make this into a random R2 unit. Or maybe this one has a designation. I just don't know it. The kit comes with the R2 dome because it's mostly reused from the original R2-D2 model kit. So same sprues, same parts, you just need to get two kits if you want R4-I9 and then that random R2 unit because it shares the whole body, of course, obviously, you know, and then this eye right here. Like I said, if you saw the review, you're into the model kits, you already know about this, but if you're not into the model kits, go buy a model kit. They're fun and we need more sales so they can continue making the model kit line. Next up is this. You guys know I'm a six inch man through and through. One twelfth scale all the way. But as I was browsing the stores, and this has been a little while back, I was browsing the stores and this caught my eye. That just looks a little bit large for the three and three quarter inch scale, doesn't it? I don't so my thought is, if you didn't get the SH Figure Wards Darth Maul Bloodspeeder that comes with one of these droids, or if you're like me who did and then promptly lost this thing because I, that set did not come with a stand for this for whatever reason. But the cool thing here is this one does. Ooh, and the stand is even ball jointed at the bottom so you can get some range around. Although it does put the droid pretty close to the ground. So plus for a stand, but it is a little bit short, but it is three and three quarter inch scale. So what am I talking about? And like I said, I lost mine. Well, it's somewhere in my toy domain. It didn't fall out of my house into somebody else's yard or something. But going by the original promotional arts for the SH figure arts, this looks comparable in size. So if you see the set on clearance and you want one of these to go with your SH figure arts mall or your black series mall, I, I feel like this works. And then there's this guy. I think this is the power of the force Two uh, mega action series destroyer droid. I want to say there was an Obi-Wan and maybe a Darth Maul in that line too. But I remember back in the day, I think it was around 2000. They didn't really look that great. And I was knee deep in three and three quarter inch. You can only be knee deep in three and three quarter inch because it's so small. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas with six inch scale, you're up to your waist and then if you're into hot toys, you're in over your head. Oh man, I should do this for a living. Last August or September, I did Salt Lake City Comic Con, I think it was. And coming back through Albuquerque, New Mexico, there is a store called Lobo Comics. And I like stopping in there because he always has some cool stuff. And this was sitting in one of his loose displays along with this. Now, I didn't know there were two versions. One has kind of battle damage or some wear on it. This one is clean. You can also see it right here. Some silver work right there, not over here. So some tiny differences, plus... <laughs> You gotta have two, right? I mean, that's just how it works. He, he made me a hell of a deal, I had to pick him up. Because it totally works in six inch scale. Yes, it may be off a little bit, but this, these are going on the shelf. There's no question about that. This is the Hasbro Black Series clone, and this is the SH Figure Arts Battle Droid. Some of the articulation is loose, a little bit floppy, but at this point, this is a, what, 19 year old figure, I think, around there. I need to do some straightening on the plastic, and I do think these, convert down to wheelie mode, but I'm not going to do that because some of it feels a little bit fragile, a little bit aged. This rubber piece keeps wanting to come out of the body. But even there, like that, you can have a destroyed droidica in your display. It's just a cool piece overall. Maybe a little bit expensive on eBay at this point, last time I looked, but mm, get one if you can. It's so choice. Next up, I got this Jabba Throne from Layered Creations on Facebook. In fact, I get a lot of stuff from Layered Creations that I haven't shown yet because I'd, it requires some work. This is 3D printed. As you can see, the layers, it's got a little bit. I need to get in here, do some sanding, do some painting. But after I do that, depending on how much work I actually put into it, it's going to make a fantastic piece on the shelf. I also grabbed this from him. Needs some sanding, needs some paint work, but oh, once finished, 
oh, oh, oh. Jabba on the throne, it looks scale, it looks great, while not taking up any, well, not much more real estate space on the shelf than Jabba by himself. Got maybe half an inch on this side, got maybe an inch, inch and a half on this side, plus you get a place for Slave Leia, C-3PO, Boba Fett, whoever else you want to stick around the throne. Black Series, we need a Bib Fortuna quickly. Also from Layered Creations, again, look him up on Facebook. From Empire Strikes Back, this was on the Star Destroyer bounty hunter scene. This is the little alcove. This is the down below part. There's the back wall. Here's the computers. You can see all those little tiny keys that's been 3D printed onto here. And again, you can see the lines where it's been 3D printed. I need to hit this with sandpaper. I need to put some elbow grease into this overall and the one before and the couple of things I'm about to talk about to make it look finished. There's a slot in the platform. You can this down in there and then with your six inch figures behind it it just it works but on top of that and you're gonna see some <laughs> space outside of my review space besides that it also has a platform that you can apply up here and that's for Bosk to stand up there hanging over looking down onto it it's a scene in the movie so it's all nicely replicated here in 3d printed form fourth wall broken and then again from layered creations i'm gonna have links to all these guys down in the description so check it out down there but he also 3d printed up a gonk droid again you can see the lines but this is a starting point. You're gonna have to put some work into it. You need some paint, need some sandpaper. There's a ball joint at the ankle, ball joint up there at the leg, so it has a little personality to it if you want it to be on your shelf. And then there is this big bastard. I, again, Layered Creations. I think this is an older one that he printed up. It may have been his own or his display piece he sold later. I caught it on Facebook. You've probably seen this in a couple of pictures of mine from the toy room or just, you know, new figures. It may be a little bit small, but again, it's made that way for shelf space. Hasbro does the same thing. A lot of other companies do it too. Lando standing up here, get a couple of more figures in here. It just looks great. Plus it's narrow enough to where when I put it on the shelf, it acts like another tier. I can put characters under the skiff. I can put characters on the skiff. It actually gives me more real estate. The plank is removable if you don't want that sticking out on your shelf. There's ball joints back here on the fins. And then the handles up top also move back and forth. And then even at the bottom, instead of just making sand, he actually put the, is that the Jabba logo? That's the Jabba's tattoo, right? So it's a nice little extra detail. I've painted a base coat and then I'm gonna go sanding. And when the base coat's gone, I know that it's flat. And then I'll hit it with some actual colors, some weathering, make it look beautiful. And then there is some mail. I know what this is. I've known Dan for a long time. Uh, we did some trading. He did a custom for me. Since seeing this online, I've been enamored with this look. Yes, we got Death Troopers. They're all in black. But seeing it in white, it, it gives you that old school Stormtrooper feel. Maybe it's not canon. Maybe it's not in your source book or anything. But it's a kick-ass looking trooper. And that's what I like. Now, if you want to see more of Dan's customs, uh, he posts under Yokai Customs on Instagram. Go check it out. He's got some more awesome stuff up there. This one's from Corey at Sandcrawler Customs. He was getting rid of some older stuff on Facebook end of November, 1st of December. And since it's been that long ago, I can't even remember what I bought. So this is actually a surprise as I'm opening it up. Got some bubble wrap, got some bubble wrap. This looks like a smaller, I think I remember what this is. Oh, 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 oh man. Look at that. Now he included this apron, which I will end up putting on him probably, but it also looks damn sweet without it. There it is with it on. Oh man, that is awesome. I needed an Ugnaught for my shelf and now I have one. But what do we got in here? Let's see what this is. Oh, 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 oh no. It being a custom, yeah, it's a little bit fragile, but there is some movement to the parts here. Just like the Ugnaught, I needed a Reese. Hell. I need every character in Star Wars on my shelf. And this just expedites that. I now have this one. And then, oh, I forgot. Yep, there's that one. Oh man, I'm so, so happy right now. It's like a Christmas present that I waited until middle of, well, almost the end of January to open. Again, check out Corey at Sandcrawler Customs on Facebook. It's just more of this and there's nothing wrong at all with more of this. And then finally over at Two Sons Casting or Two Sons Customs, uh, they're working on their website right now. And, oh man, they have so many head casts and so much stuff. In fact, I have a lot of their stuff that 
I just have sitting. I, I haven't had time to paint up, which <laughs> most of the stuff you see in this video, it'll probably be a while before you see it finished, at least from me. And I know what this is because we just talked about this again the other day. Oh, there's something else down in here too. Oh, and these guys, they know, like a lot of people know, that I am a shirt junkie. So there you go. Two Sons Six Inch Customs. This is actually a 3D printed piece, and I know it's kind of hard to tell. You've probably got to guess at what this is, though. Some assembly required, looks like. And that turns into this. Okay, it's not supposed to look quite like this. It's supposed to look like this. Here's the finished model all put together. Scout Trooper on it, looking all sweet. And I, I admit the solo designs aren't the most dramatic. They do have pinholes right here where you can pin the whole thing together once it is assembled. And then just some of the details on here. Again, it's 3D printed. I'm going to have to do some sanding, but once I do some sanding, this should work perfect on my solo shelf. It has a foot pedal piece that goes up under there like that. The handlebars were a separate piece that they're not glued together yet. They're two separate pieces then plug into the side of here, but that'll work too. There's a big blaster that mounts onto the side of it, gonna need glued. And then some paint, an Imperial logo, and it'll look fantastic. Again, depending on how much work I put into it. The kit doesn't include the pins to go in these pinholes to hold it all together, but it's probably something common. I'll get with them, see what it's supposed to go in there. So all in all, a bunch of fantastic Star Wars stuff that I get to add to my shelf this month. Things I've had for a while but hey, there's this you know there's marvel there's star wars there's other toy lines it, it all comes in at once so I, whenever i get a pal i think oh i better open some stuff like i said i'll have links to the descriptions to all these guys yokai customs two sons sandcrawler customs layered creations and then for stuff like the droidicas or the model kit you'll have to hit import sites or ebay <laughs> in the case of the droidicas just a bunch of great guys doing some great star wars stuff so if you enjoyed uh, Robo's Star Wars Play Day, I guess you can call this. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh.